All right, welcome back, everybody. I'm getting my voice back little by little, uh, but this is finally, there's one game left to come in, but I'm just going to do this. I haven't ordered it yet. I'm going to get into this. This is a retro video game pickup epic collection video. Um, I have a ton of Game Boy stuff, a ton of Game Gear stuff, some uh, computer stuff, some Saturn stuff, some Dreamcast stuff. I mean, we got a whole bunch of shit going down. Uh, some PS2, PS3 type stuff, DS, uh, Game Boy Color, Advance, that sort of stuff. Uh, we got a lot of stuff to go over, and what I'm, one thing I'm doing, I just realized, uh, it was on an airplane uh, coming back from Tennessee. And I thought to myself, you know, I have a lot of Disney video games. I'm going to try to collect every Disney video game ever made uh, for the systems that I own. So the systems that I own, you got GameCom, uh, the original Game Boy, Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy Advance, uh, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 3DS, Sega Genesis, uh, Sega Saturn, Sega Dreamcast, uh, PlayStation 2, PlayStation Vita, original PlayStation, PlayStation 3, PlayStation 4, uh, Nintendo 64, uh, Game Gear, and uh, I'm probably missing some, some stuff, but that's what I'm planning on doing. So a lot of these games, I'm going to go right into this. I got them at different points uh, throughout the last couple months. Can we get these glasses out of the way? But <coughs> this was, all these games here were bought at Mr. Deals. And I know that you guys know Mr. Deals from previous videos. But let me go right into it. Let's get into the PS2 games here. And I'm trying to find every Disney game now, uh, in addition to the games that I... I still need to collect as well, so we've got a whole bunch of stuff <laughs> to go over, and let's uh, let's go right into it. Um, and what I'm going to do is, uh, when I do my game room video, I will eventually get to that, but I'm going to have another bookshelf just based all solely on the uh, Disney games. So, first up, I actually am buying this as well. Uh, any game also that I have the movies of that I bought the movies or based on books, like Harry Potter, for example. Here for the PlayStation 2, we have Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Okay. Uh, dare to return to Hogwarts. Be Harry Potter in a richer, deeper adventure. Explore an authentic immersive Hogwarts. You got new wizard duels. Lead Gryffindor to the Quidditch Cup. Control your spell power. And use stealth. It's an action-adventure game. It's made by EA, EA Games. Uh, features. Confront the mysteries of the Chamber of Secrets with advanced second-year magic, challenging quests, and dangerous adversaries. Greater Depth. Featuring wizard duels, very power spells, and Quidditch leagues. Take flight. Hop on your Nimbus 2000 and freely explore Hogwarts. Challenge foes, including Aragog and the fearsome Basilisk. Harry comes to life. His internal voice guides you. Interact with all your favorite characters, including Ron, Hermione, Hagrid, Dobby, and uh, Gilderoy Lockhart. So... <laughs> There you go, Harry Potter Chamber of Secrets. The other game I got, uh, PS2, is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban from EA Games. This actually here says, Free Inside, One Child's Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban movie ticket. Uh, I doubt that it comes with it. It does not, I don't believe, unless it's uh, on the back of the instructions or something. I'm too lazy to look. But anyway, the Dementors are coming, and this time Harry needs his friends. So you got play as Harry, Ron, and Hermione, face the Dementors. Uh, fly, Buckbeak, mini games, I toy after school games. Uh, free movie ticket inside. See inside for details. Free movie ticket only good at participating movie theaters in the United States. Toward one admission price, up to six dollars and fifty cents to the Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban movie. Offer expires six twenty seven oh four. Other restrictions apply. So that's way obviously expired. For information on the specific product, visit www.harrypotter.ea.com. For information on Harry Potter, visit www.harrypotter.com. So this Prisoner of Azkaban. All right, now we're getting into the Disney games here. Let me just see. Oh, now we got some more. We got some more Harry Potter. Let's get to that, and then we'll get to right to the Disney, Disney stuff. Uh, let me just see. Okay, so next up we got Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Okay, from EA Games again, WB. A magical new first-year adventure. Help Harry uncover the secret of the Sorcerer's Stone in this brand-new game for the PlayStation 2. Encounter strange creatures such as the venomous uh, tenacula, devil snare, and mutated jai trash. Enhance your wizarding powers with the spongify spell challenge. 
Explore even more exciting locations, including Ollivander's Wand Shop and Hagrid's Garden. Prepare for an extraordinary cinematic final encounter with the dreaded you-know-who. For more information on Harry Potter, visit www.harrypotter.com. For more information on the specific product, visit www.harrypotter.ea.com. So, in Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, the PS2. Next up, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. This, I think, is the first game that I can see, aside from... Uh, Half-Blood Prince, which we'll get to in a minute, that doesn't have a cartoonish Harry Potter. It actually has Daniel Radcliffe on the cover. So Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, EA and WB. Can you master the magic? Experience the excitement of the movie when you play as Harry, Ron, and Hermione in a breathtaking adventure pack with action and magic. Combine your magic and play with up to two friends to create more powerful charms and jinxes. Experiment with magic. Explore the world of Hogwarts to discover new spell uses and combinations. Compete in the Triwizard Tournament facing the deadly Hungarian Horntail Dragon, the icy depths of the Black Lake, and an enchanted maze. www.harrypotter.com, www.masterthemagic.com. So this is Harry Potter Goblet of Fire. Now we can get right to the Disney games that I was able to pick up for the PS2 uh, at Mr. Deals. First up from Ubisoft is Disney's Tarzan Untamed. Okay. Untamed the Beast Within. As the primal action hero Tarzan, use extreme athletic skills through the dense jungle to rescue your animal friends from vicious poachers. So you have extreme action moves. Bungee jump, water ski, surf raging rapids, and power slide across treacherous jungle terrain. Explore immense worlds like the swamp and elephant graveyard with 15 levels of wild action. Plunge into the next generation graphics of deep 3D jungle environments. You have two modes of fun. Save the jungle with Tarzan's amazing athletic skills in story mode. Unlock new characters and tricks in Turk's Challenge. But again... Disney's Tarzan Untamed. Next up, we have Disney's Sing It. Okay. Uh, let me see if this even came with instructions. It did. This is from Disney itself. I think Disney made this. Yeah. So, your music, your voice, your stage requires a Logitech or SingStar microphone. Sing up to 35 chart-topping tunes from your favorite stars and shows. Perform solo or have a blast with friends in a chat, in a duet, not a chat. Learn vocal tricks in Sing It Pro. Personalize your game experience with a variety of digital themes. DisneySingIt.com, Disney.com slash video games. Uh, microphones not included. Duet mode can be played using two Logitech or two SingStar microphones only. This is a 3 for 10 game. Disney's Sing It. Next up, we have Disney Pixar Cars from THQ. Jump into the fast lane. Burn rubber in over 30 races and mini games. Make your friends eat your dust in multiplayer mode. Speed to the finish line with over 10 playable characters. Explore the open world of Radiator Springs. www.carsvideogame.com. Pretty easy stuff. Disney's Cars. Next up, we have Disney and Pixar Finding Nemo from THQ. And it says, free child's movie pass or $6.50 off any admission to see Finding Nemo inside. Offer expires 6.30.03. Anyway. Fish are friends, not food. Guide Marlin, Dory, and Nemo through the ultimate underwater adventure. Meet all of the great characters from the Disney Pixar movie Finding Nemo as you live all the excitement of the film's storyline. The search for Nemo is on and it's up to you to find him. Dive in. Surf the current with Crush. Survive a forest of jellyfish. Join the task. Uh, join the tank gang. Pretty easy stuff there. Finding Nemo. Next up, we have Disney presents a Pixar film, The Incredibles, also from THQ. Seems to me that THQ did a lot of these Disney games for the lad for the uh, PS2 and things of that nature. Super strength, super speed, invisibility, elasticity. These are your powers: bombs, bullets, robots, lasers. Your enemy controls them all. The only way to survive being the Incredibles is to truly be incredible. So you have super strength, super speed, super force, super stretch. And this is, again, the Incredibles for the PS2. Next up, we have the Disney's The Haunted Mansion. This is from TDK. Okay. Free movie pass inside. See inside for details. Free movie pass only good at participating movie theaters and is only good for admission to the Haunted Mansion movie. <coughs> Up to $6.50. Offer expires twelve fifteen oh three. Unlock the secrets of the Haunted Mansion. Welcome, foolish mortals, to the Haunted Mansion. Trouble has found Zeke Holloway. In this famous house of wall-to-wall -wall creeps and hot and cold running chills, Zeke must put disgruntled spirits to rest while trying to keep himself from being scared to death. Literally. Play Zeke as you navigate through Disney's Haunted Mansion with game environments inspired by the movie and the ride. There's no turning back now. 
Release the 999 trapped souls before becoming one. Unique puzzles that uncover hidden clues, passageways, and secrets untold. Meet and defeat ghosts as you attempt to rid the mansion of the darkness that has taken over. So, uh, www.tdkm.com. TDK Media Active. Media Active in Bing Video. So again, the Haunted Mansion. Next up, we have Disney's Treasure Planet. Okay, this is from Disney Interactive and Sony. Grab some intergalactic air, space pirates, solar surfing, a cyborg cook, the loot of a thousand worlds. Set sail on the RLS Legacy Galleon on the greatest treasure hunt of all times. Confront immunity, betrayal, black holes, and deadly space storms. The hunt is on. Got an all-star cast from the film, Beware of Pirate-Infested Galaxies, Solar Surfing, The New Extreme Sport, exclusive behind-the-scenes footage and other DVD extras, Man's Best Friend, Shapeshifting Pal Morph, www.playstation.com. So, Disney's Treasure Planet. Next up, we have Disney Presents a Pixar film, The Incredibles, Rise of the Underminer. Again from THQ. It's a spoof on Rise of the Silver Surfer. Twice the action, twice the danger, twice the heroics. Join Mr. Incredible and Frozone in nonstop action as they venture underground to defeat the Underminer and his evil robot minions before they dominate the world. Team up for super multiplayer action. Play as both Mr. Incredible and Frozone. Be truly incredible with upgradable moves and superpowers. Uh, THQ, again, made this game. Published it, at least. Next up, we have Disney Pixar Up, also from THQ. Adventure is out there. Battle dangerous creatures. Journey through treacherous jungles. Compete in aerial dogfight combat. Two-player drop-in, drop-out co-op gameplay. So not really give you a lot. You can go to www.playthq.com. There really isn't a lot of uh, stuff on the back of these games. Like, you have no idea what the hell's going on. I guess you just play the movie. But anyway, that's one. Here's one. Disney's Chicken Little Ace in Action from Buena Vista Games. Okay. Join Ace in outer space. Save the Earth from the evil Foxy Loxy. Blow away enemies with Ace's blaster, Runt's tank, or Abbey spaceship. Over 23 missions take you to Pluto, Saturn, Mars, and the Moon. Challenge friends in multiplayer mode, featuring Adam West as the voice of Commander Ace. The original Chicken Little and his friends are along for the ride. So, Disney's Chicken Little, Ace in action. The last PS2 game I got there was... Disney High School Musical 3 Senior Year Dance. Another 3 for 10 game. Get ready to dance. Dance to 29 songs from all three movies. Play as Troy, Gabriella, Sharpay, Ryan, Taylor, Chad, or as your own customized Wildcat. Compete in dance-offs or play together in a dance duo. Includes behind-the-scenes footage and cast interviews. Step to the beat on any PlayStation 2 compatible dance pad. You can go to hsmvideogame.com or disney.com slash video games again. Disney's High School Musical 3 Senior Year Dance. So those are the PS2 games I got all at Mr. Deals. Let's go now to the rest of the games I got at Mr. Deals. And we'll go right to the PS1 games. Okay. First up, Disney's Treasure Planet. Again, from Disney Interactive. Okay, Surf Across Montessor, uh, Crescentia Spaceport, the RLS Legacy and Treasure Planet, Blast Space Pirates, ARG. Find precious artifacts and secret film clips, rocket plank, solar longboat, an intergalactic treasure hunt. Join Jim Hawkins and his space-shifting pal Morph sail through space to find the loot of a thousand worlds. Get rid of this price tag here. Pretty easy stuff. Uh, play, www.playstation.com, Disney's Treasure Planet for the PS1. Next up, we have Disney Presents Tigger's Honey Hunt. Okay, from Disney Interactive and Take Two Interactive. It's a Tiggerific good time. Winnie the Pooh needs you. How can he throw a party without honey? Play as Tigger and run, jump, and bounce around the 100-acre wood in search of Pooh's most favorite snack. Along the journey, there'll be plenty of challenges. Blustery, blowing leaves to ride, icy terrain, falling boulders, menacing bees, pesky bats, and more. Earn Tigger's bonus jumps to explore special areas. You can explore nine levels, master three mini-games, collect picture pieces for a special photo album surprise. DisneyInteractive.com. Disney presents Tigger's Honey Hunt. The uh, the manual in here. There we go. All right. Next up, we have Disney Pixar: A Bug's Life from Disney Interactive. 
An interactive journey with a bug's eye view. The ultimate movie fun comes to the PlayStation game console. Get ready for a bug eye, bug's eye view and experience the most incredible adventure ever. Featuring fully interactive 3D environments brought to life with unprecedented cinematic quality animation, smooth controls, and challenging puzzles, A Bug's Life is guaranteed fun for all ages. Relieve the feeling... Relive the feeling from the feature film of this action-packed adventure. Cinematic scenes taken straight from the feature film. 15-plus 3D environments all fully interactive. And the in-game graphics show you swing, slide, and fly in this remarkable interactive journey. Interact with unique characters. Yeah, and Disney Pixar Bugs Life PS1. Next up, we have Disney Pixar Toy Story 2. Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. Activision published this. The countdown to adventure is on. A space hero, as space hero Buzz Lightyear, you've got your hands full. Your best buddy Woody has been kidnapped by a greedy toy collector, and it's going to be an all-out race against time to save him. It's all up to you, Buzz Lightyear to the rescue. You can spin, spring, somersault, and bounce through 15 colorful action packs levels. Use cool toy accessories like an arm laser and rocket jet boots to complete your missions. Enjoy fast and fun 3D gameplay with your favorite characters from the movie. Again, Disney, Pixar, Toy Story 2, Buzz Lightyear to the Rescue from Activision for the PS1. Next up, we have Disney, Pixar, Toy Story Racer, also published by Activision. Gear up for fast-paced action. The race is on. For the first time ever, join Woody, Buzz Lightyear, and the gang in a crazy, turbo-blasting, remote-controlled racing competition through the action-packed world of Disney's Toy Story. In-game graphics show, take an 18 fast and fun race courses, Take on 18 fast and fun race courses, many inspired by locations in Disney's Toy Story movie. Drive as 12 of your favorite characters from Disney's Toy Story, each with a unique vehicle and driving style. Face exciting races and bonus modes in gameplay that adjust to your ability level. So, Toy Story, uh, Disney Pixar Toy Story Racer, again published by Activision for the PS1. Next up, we have Disney's Aladdin in Nasiria's Revenge, Disney or Interactive. All the adventure you could wish for. Agrabah is in trouble again. The evil sorceress Nazira is out to avenge her twin brother Jafar and destroy those who defeated him. Join Aladdin and his friends in a frantic battle between good and evil. Escape to this magical world and just follow your imagination. Features original character voices from the hit TV series. Run, swing, and sneak through the streets of Agrabah. Throw apples and fire daggers to stun enemies. Pull daring rescues on the magic carpet. Play as Aladdin, Abu, and Jasmine as you journey through mystical landscapes. Enjoy hidden challenges in Genie's bonus world or win big on his wish machine. Your wish has been granted. www.scea.com, Disney Interactive and Sony. Um, Disney's Aladdin in the series Revenge for the PS1. Next up we have Walt Disney World's Magical Racing Tour from Eidos and Disney Interactive. Catch the Magic. Experience the thrill of Walt Disney World Quest Magical Racing Tour and find all the missing pieces of the fireworks machine. Speed around 13 raceways based on popular Walt Disney World theme parks and water parks, including Space Mountain, Test Track, at Epcot, and Rock and Roller Coaster. Race against a clock or a friend with single and multiplayer action featuring split-screen racing. Play 13 different racers including Chippendale, Jiminy Cricket, and 10 all-new Disney characters. Drive cool vehicles including a rocket, snowmobile, pirate ship, and a doom buggy. Doom, D-O-O-M, buggy, not D-U-N-E. Knock racers off track with frog spells, teacup mines, flying acorns, and more. Unlock secret characters, special shortcuts, and hidden tracks. Cruise to the beat of authentic Disney tunes. And the in-game graphics show Disney's Blizzard Beach, Dinosaur, Big Thunder Mountain Railroad, and Tomorrowland Speedway. Crystal Dynamics, Disney Interactive, and Eidos Entertainment. Eidos Interactive, uh, Disney's World... Walt Disney World Magical Racing Tour. This is for the PS1. Next up, we have Disney's Lilo and Stitch, or Lilo and Stitch, uh, Disney Interactive and Sony. Disney's new animated movie, Lilo and Stitch, surfs onto the PlayStation game console, bringing the movie experience right into your home. Join the mismatched pair Lilo, the sassy surfer girls, and Stitch, a destructive pint-sized fighting machine, on an adventure around the beautiful island of Hawaii. Key Features. Play as the rambunctious little Lilo as she gets into some fun in the sun. A little voodoo magic will add some spice to the action. As Stitch, find out why Destruction is his middle name. He's a two-foot-tall little terror that will send the alien bounty hunters on a wild goose chase. Uncover the secrets of the island. The fruits of Hawaii will feed your frenzy while hidden items and power-ups fuel the mystery and fun. 
www.sea.com, Disney Interactive, and Sony Computer Entertainment with Blitz Games, Lilo and Stitch for the PS1. Next up, we have a Harry Potter game for the PS1. It's Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone from WB. He moved in EA Games. Hogwarts term begins. Be Harry Potter in a magical adventure filled with wizardry, fun, and danger. The features. Cast spells and confront adversaries to thwart you-know-who's evil plans. Fast-paced action. Run, jump, climb, and sneak. Attend lessons to learn all things magical. Win house points for Gryffindor. Lead Gryffindor to victory in Quidditch. Collect chocolate frogs, burning bots, every flavor beans, and famous wizard cards. Interact with over 20 unforgettable characters from J.K. Rowling's world, including Hermione Granger, Ron Weasley, and Rubus Haggard. Indian graphics, ride your Nimbus 2000, battle evil foes, magical puzzles and wizard games, explore Hogwarts. Again, this is EA Games and WB, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone for the PS1. That's the PS1 games I was able to grab there at Mr. Deals. Next up, we have two Dreamcast games. Walt Disney World's Magical Racing Tour from Eidos Interactive. One to four player kart racing. Let's get this sticker off. Let's go on the back. Catch the magic. Experience the thrill of Walt Disney World Quest Magical Racing Tour and find all the missing pieces of the fireworks machine. Speed around 13 raceways based on popular Walt Disney World theme parks and water parks, including Space Mountain, Test Track, and Rock and Roller Coaster. Race against the clock or up to four friends with single and multiplayer action. Play 13 different racers, including Chippendale, Jiminy Cricket, and 10 all-new Disney characters. Drive cool vehicles, including a rocket, snowmobile, pirate ship, and Doom, D-O-O-M, buggy. Knock racers off track with frog spells, teacup mines, flying acorns, and more. Unlock secret characters, special shortcuts, and hidden tracks. Cruise to the beat of authentic Disney tunes. In-game graphics show Disney's Blizzard Beach, Tomorrowland Speedway, Dinosaur, and Big Thunder Mountain Railroad. Uh, Disney Interactive, Crystal Dynamics, and Eidos Interactive. Again, this is for the Dreamcast Walt Disney World Magical Racing Tour. And the last game for the Dreamcast, Disney's Donald Duck Going Quackers from Ubisoft and Disney Interactive. Donald Duck Going Quackers. Donald is going quackers. Donald runs amok, goes berserk, and gets hyper across 20 levels and four cartoon-like worlds in this hilarious quest to rescue Daisy. Favorite characters, Daisy, Huey, Dewey, Louie, the Beagle Boys, and more. Control Donald's explosive temper, confront wacky characters and obstacles. It's non-stop action as Donald runs, jumps, dodges, and quacks his way to save Daisy. And you got www.ubisoft.com, Disney Interactive again for the Dreamcast, Disney's Donald Duck going quackers. So, we've gone PS2, we've done PS1, we have now done Dreamcast. Next up, we're going to go quickly to Game Boy Advance. It is Disney's Lilo and Stitch, features real movie clips from Disney Interactive here. Have you seen this alien? Only for the Game Boy Advance, not compatible with other Game Boy systems. Stitch, a.k.a. Experiment 626. Warning, Stitch is extremely dangerous. The result of an illegal genetic experiment by a mad scientist, Stitch appears to be harmless, small furry with six legs, but his very existence is an abomination to all that's decent in the galaxy. Last seen on the island of Hawaii in the company of a little girl named Lilo. Fugitive may be disguised as a family pet. Report any sightings to the Intergalactic Grand Council. Disney's Lilo and Stitch. Rescue Lilo from the dreaded mosquito menace. Destroy alien starships and dodge enemy fire in your Star Cruiser. Includes actual movie clips from Disney's Lilo and Stitch movie. Gameplay on the Game Boy Advance video game system. www.disneyinteractive.com Now, for those of you who don't know this, I do have to protect my games, especially Game Boy games, uh, in these protective little uh, things. And I'll do one for you. If you have never seen my videos, these are what they are. Okay. I'm just... Pop them in like that, and you move this down like so, okay? And then what you do is you just take it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to double check to make sure, okay, that's what I thought. So we, all right, here's what I got to do here. I got to grab one of these guys. I'll show you what this is in a minute. It's a way to actually, here, I'll show you. All right, these guys. So what you do is you pop these in. I don't know if this is going to fit, actually, in a Game Boy Advance box. I know these are for, like the original Game Boy games. If you can't find the plastic trays, which I wish you... Somebody on eBay had them a while back. They sold out. You can't really find them anywhere. But 
Eventually what you do is you push up, it may take a little bit, but you got to try to um, do it in such a way where, there you go, it's like sort of like that, hold on, and you, there we go, so now you, you're, you're forming like a, a box here, and you take this, and you push this down inside, Coming from me, who is terrible, inherited my father's genes as far as building stuff. It's amazing I can even get this done. You push these in. Okay. And what it does is it actually will help you. Now see, this is too... It's not, it doesn't fit. It's too, it's too small. But it'll actually help form the box so the box doesn't get crushed anyway. So you throw that right in. You put the instructions back in. You... See, and then you put it right inside like so, right here, and boom, easy peasy. And there's Lilo and Stitch for the Game Boy Advance, all done up. Next up, uh, we have four Genesis games. Um, some of these are pretty valuable. One of these is definitely really valuable. Let's go to the one that's really irrelevant, sort of, as far as what we're doing. This is Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine from Sega. Evil Dr. Robotnik has invented a machine that turns good folks into rotten robots. Village bean folk from the planet Mobius are being rounded up by the doctor's henchbots and thrown into his dungeons. There they await their turn in his latest evil masterpiece. An addicting, fun-filled puzzle. Unite four beans of the same color so they can stick together and escape. Defeat characters from the Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog TV series, including Dr. Robotnik and his wicked henchbots. Three ways to play. Challenge a friend, go head-to-head -head with Dr. Robotnik, or practice on your own. I'll show you the in-game graphics there, but again, it's really easy. Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine by Sega. It's really the only Sonic-related game I do not have, did not have for the Genesis, but I picked that up. Next up, we have Pocahontas for the Genesis from Disney Interactive. On the back, only you can find the path to peace. As Pocahontas, you must use courage and quick thinking to conquer obstacles and help your animal friends. Can you save a fallen bird, free a trapped deer, and help a baby bear get out of a tree? Each time you succeed, you'll earn a special power, so you can soar, swim, and race through forests, across rivers, and over mountains. But hurry, a war is about to begin, and only you can stop it. Conquer over 65 thrilling challenges. Explore the enchanted glade, the Indian village, and the settler's fort. Play along to songs including Colors of the Wind and Just Around the River Bend. Play as Pocahontas and Miko. In-game graphics, help the animals and earn special powers. Thrilled to exciting adventures just like in the film. And race to save John Smith and stop the war. It's Disney Interactive, Funcom, this is Pocahontas for the Genesis. Next up, we have Di Mickey's Ultimate Challenge. This is from High Tech Expressions for the Genesis. Five magical puzzles full of family fun. Mickey's Ultimate Challenge. The sky is rumbling, the sky is rumbling. Whatever can it be, cry the citizens of Beanwick. Is it a storm? Is it a monster? Is it the end of the kingdom? I don't know, but I'll find out, says Mickey, if I have to search every room in the castle of Beanwick to solve the mystery. In Mickey's Ultimate Challenge, volunteers Mickey or Minnie to help the kingdom of Beanwick solve the mystery of the rumblings in the sky. But first, you must prove worthy of the challenge by thinking your way through a series of fiendishly clever puzzles, riddles, and games. As Mickey Mini, players from 4 to 104 can take full advantage of the game's interactive capabilities to put their critical thinking skills to the ultimate test. Five incredible locations, five brain-teasing challenges starring many of your favorite Disney characters. Solve them all for a chance to see what's really up, up there. Is this all a dream? Play Mickey's Ultimate Challenge and decide for yourself. Some in-game graphics, and then it shows here skill levels for grades. Cake level is kindergarten to three, medium level ages four to, or grades four to nine, and then challenging levels for adults. So this is interesting. Maybe there's three difficulty levels, but anyway, uh, Mickey's Ultimate Challenge. Now this is the game that's worth a uh, decent amount of money, uh, and it's one of the classics on the Genesis. Got it for thirty dollars, um, and it is Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse. Okay. Castle of Illusion starring Mickey Mouse. The search is on. Mickey tackles magnificent lands where fantasy and danger become real. A water spout whirls Mickey around. A frantic toy land suddenly flips upside down. 
To stay on his feet, Mickey runs, leaps, and bounces, slinging apples and marbles at his enemies. Mickey is on the trail of a wicked witch named Miserable, who has kidnapped Minnie. Mickey must find seven gems hidden in the fantastic chambers and underground mazes of Miserable's Castle of Illusion and use them to save Minnie. In this scary adventure, Mickey must brave chomping bonefish, vaporous ghosts, and taunting bats. He must battle knights and leaping dragons. Wobble with Mickey on floating leaves, but look out for spiders. Venture into a loony library where even the books attack. Then get ready to challenge your most dangerous foe, Evil Witch Miserable herself. And this game's so old, you can see the difference in the Genesis cases from when they first came out. This is 1990 that this game came out. 90. This, we're talking almost tw 26 years ago this game came out for the Genesis. So that's everything I, re I got at... Um, at um, Let's put these back. This is everything I got at Mr. Deal's. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the stuff I bought off of... Uh, oh, wait a minute. Did I buy it? No, I'm going to go to the stuff I bought. When I was in Tennessee, I went to a video game store in Tennessee, in, in uh, Gatlinburg there. It's actually the next city over. It's in um, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. And it is... I forget what the hell it's called, to be honest with you. You know what the store is called. Um, but anyway, when you get out of the way here, okay. So, let me show you what I got. First up, we have for Harry Potter, this is for the PlayStation 2, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince from WB and EA Games. Summon the wizard within you. Relive the action of the movie. Create magical potions with Professor Slughorn using the Half-Blood Prince's potions book. Join the Gryffindor Dueling Club. Will you become the Dueling Club champion? Perfect your Quidditch skills. Can you dodge a bludger or catch the snitch? This is www.harrypotter.ea.com. Pretty easy stuff. Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince from WB and EA Games. Okay. Next up, I got Batman Begins from WB and EA Games. Fear is your weapon. Invoke fear. Stalk your enemies from the shadows. Unleash powerful moves based on the unique fighting style created for the movie. Defend justice. Take on Gotham's most wanted, including Scarecrow and Ra Ra's al Ghul. Feel the power of the Batmobile. Tear up the streets and rooftops with lightning-fast vehicular combat. Play the movie. Embrace the darkness of Arkham Asylum in the alleys of Gotham. Featuring the voices of Christian Bale, Michael Caine, Liam Neeson, Katie Holmes, Cillian Murphy, Tom Wilkinson, and Morgan Freeman. For information on Batman Begins, visit www.batmanbegins.com. For information on this specific product, visit www.batmanbegins.ea.com. Again, from WB and EA Games, Batman Begins for the PS2. Next up, we have for the PlayStation 2, a game I've been searching for for a while and was able to find it there, Gauntlet Dark Legacy from Midway. Pesky Humans, four-player cooperative action. Choose to be a warrior, valkyrie, wizard, jester, dwarf, sorceress, archer, or knight, and battle the enemy with your friends. Eight magical realms. Adventure through numerous mystical lands, including sky and dream worlds. Advanced combat. Perform advanced attack combo moves that will enable you to decimate hordes of enemies. Countless special items. Fill your arsenal with magic potions, power pack weapons, magical shields, and other special items as you traverse each level. It says www.midway.com. Again, Gauntlet Dark Legacy. Pretty rare for the PS2. I was not able to find it in stores. In Tennessee, I was able to grab this, so I was happy I was able to get that. Uh, next up for the PS2, this is pretty simple. This is Madden 12. I'm missing it uh, from EA Sports. True to the game, Madden NFL 12 continues the rich tradition of the storied franchise by bringing fans closer to the NFL than ever before, featuring all 32 teams, stadiums, and all your favorite players in the league. Madden NFL 12 is true to the game. In-game graphics, create an NFL superstar and guide his career all the way to the Hall of Fame. Build a franchise from the ground up and dominate the league for up to 30 seasons. EA.com slash Madden hyphen NFL and then allmadden.com. Again, Madden 12 from EA Sports, PS2. Pretty easy stuff. And the last game for the PS2 is a Disney game. It is Walt Disney Pictures and Walden Media present The Chronicles of Narnia, Prince Caspian from Disney. Journey back to Narnia where a new age has begun. Fight as 20 different characters in epic battles. Battle alongside powerful creatures in team-up play. Drop in and play with a friend via co-op mode. Uh, Disney.com slash video games and PrinceCaspianTheGame.com. Disney Interactive Studios, Traveler's Tales, and Bink Video. Again, uh, Walt Disney Pictures and Walden Media present The Chronicles of Narnia Prince Caspian for the PS2. 
feels very light. It's really, you know, there's the instruction booklet. It's about it. It's like three pages. So anyway, next up for the PS3, I have Harry Potter and the Deathly Hollows Part 2. Uh, only on PlayStation, PlayStation Move Compatible, from WB Games and EA. So, for PS Move functionality, use motion controller and PlayStation Eye Camera. Join the Battle of Hogwarts. Wield powerful magic and engage in epic battles to defeat the Dark Forces. And that's pretty much it. HarryPotter.ea.com. Pretty easy stuff. For the PS3, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 from WB Games and EA Games. And then lastly, for the PSP, I grabbed Disney Pixar Cars from THQ. The race is on. Make your friends eat your dust with multiplayer mode. Burn rubber in over 25 races. Speed to the finish line with over 15 playable characters. www.carsvideogame.com. THQ, www.thq.com. Real easy, PSP, Disney Pixar Cars. So these are the games that I was able to get, not a lot, at the Tennessee store. Okay. I think I might have... Did I pick this up as well? I think I did. Yes, I did pick this up. This is also from Tennessee. It's a sealed copy for the Nintendo DS of Disney Pixar Cars. Spies Wanted, Chrome, World Class Racing, Dangerous Spy Missions, DS Multi-Card, Wireless Connected Games, Require One Game Card Per Player, Disney.com slash Cars Video Games. This is interesting. I don't think this is uh, the same game as the other stuff. This is a... Oh, that's why, because it's Cars 2. It's a sealed copy of Cars 2, not the original Cars. Okay. So that's what I grabbed in Tennessee. Now for the stuff I bought online. There's a ton of shit here that I bought online. Um, and I want to get to how I'm going to do this. So, first up, I think we're going to get... We're going to save Game Boy for last. Let me move this out of the way. We're going to go right into the Saturn games. Okay. Let's see here. Let's get to that. So, this is a sealed copy. Now, a lot of these are actually sealed. Um, some of them are not, not just for the Saturn, but in general. I think all of these ones happen to be sealed. So, first up, for the Saturn sealed, we have Virtua Racing. VR Virtua Racing. Time Warner Interactive's Virtua Racing. Uh, and if you look at the back here, accelerate your Saturn over 300 miles per hour. You fondled the box, you've studied the screenshots, you've even read the captions. You know about the ten different tracks, seven more created just for Saturn drivers. The new vehicles, yes, a go-kart. Grand Prix mode, 15 teams to face, five cars to race, better practice. Next generation cinematics, you definitely won't find this anywhere else. Split screen mode, yeehaw! Guess all that's left to do is buckle up and see how Saturn's twin 32-bit risk engines perform over 300 mph miles per hour. So in-game graphics show, white knuckle it across ten polygonal... 10 polygon perfect circuits from the Bay Bridge to PCH, Amazon Falls to the Alpines. Relive those glory days in arcade mode, then unleash your horses against 15 teams in all-new Grand Prix mode. Five powerful racing machines to choose from. Challenge a buddy with incredible two-player split-screen racing. One wild ride that screams on the Sega Saturn. Again, this is from Time uh, Warner Interactive. One or two players. Sealed copy of Time Warner Interactive's VR Virtual Racing. So let's put this over here. Next up, sealed from ASC Games, I have 10 Pin Alley for the Saturn. 10 Pin Alley, it's bowling the way you like it without the shoes. So sit back, grab a ball, and get ready for the bowling experience of a lifetime. The game features actual pin physics give you a pro caliber bowling experience. 12 colorful characters with dozens of outrageous reactions. Three bowling centers to choose from with all the variety, sights, and sounds of real bowling. Select ball weight and cover stock. Realistic lane conditions affect how the ball travels down the lane. Different play styles including open play, tournament mode, and league play. Up to three players can play on a team. Multiple camera angles. Change hair, skin, and clothing of each character. Save career statistics and tournament progression. A true party game. So, again for the Saturn sealed 10-pin alley. Also sealed, although the seal is coming off a little bit, Grand Slam from Virgin Interactive Entertainment. Electronic Gaming Monthly called this unprecedented control. Grand Slam dives, digs, and comes up with the most realistic baseball ever. 
Real Playing will control and manage over 800 MLBPA players and prospects. Action follows updated player statistics provided by Stats Incorporated 1997 team rosters. Track dozens of stats for every single team, player, and prospect over an entire season, plus special season awards. Advanced AI gives you real MLBPA players who think and play like the pros. Players simulate an entire season, optimizing your team with realistic trading AI. Real Pitching and Batting. Exclusive batting meter for total swing control, exclusive pitching meter for total pitch control, three levels of difficulty for pitching and batting, real action, play in all 28 stadiums authentically rendered in 3D, including all new 97 stadiums, unique behind the field or camera puts you on the field and in the action, multiple play modes, practice uh, tater tournament, exhibition season and playoffs, 2,500 play-by-play commentaries and authentic sound effects, head-to-head competition. Now, this is interesting. Uh, Usually when games talk about MLBPA, and they talk a lot about that, they usually do not have the license of MLB to actually... So the real team name is, it's not going to be the Boston Red Sox. It'll be like the Boston uh, Chowders or something like that, you know. Um, Those games, some of these games didn't have the ability to have that back then. But yeah, there's no MLB license. So it's not licensed by Major League Baseball, uh, hence why there's no team on this guy's jersey. It looks like uh, Mark McGuire. Not Mark McGuire. Who does that look like? Oh, it's Jeff, Jeff Bagwell. That's why I'm an, I'm an idiot. Jeff Bagwell, I don't know who that is, but again, there's, it looks like a Phillies type of uniform, even though there's no, there's no what do you call it? So anyway, that's for the Saturn. Now, the really cool thing I was able to pick up, Sealed, uh, seals coming off a little bit, but this is for the Sega CD 32X. Yeah, the seals basically coming off. This is Slam City with Scotty Pippen, okay, from Digital Pictures. So much action, it's on four CDs, digitally remastered for 32X, 25% sharper video, eight times more colors, over two and a half hours of full motion video, 100% full motion interactive video. If we go on the back, This ain't no cartoon game. This is where real basketball is played by real players on the street. If you can beat these guys and earn enough respect, you actually get to take on Scottie Pippen. A real interactive movie, not a computer-generated game. Perform spectacular live-action moves to the hoop. Go one-on-one with five of the slamminest hoopsters on the blacktop. Fingers. He talks a lot of trash. He has to look good when he scores. Juice. She can hit anything from anywhere. Competition is her middle name. Making you look bad is her game. Mad Dog. He's been known to ask for help climbing off the backboard after skying past you to the hoop. White men can jump. Smash. He's from the same gene pool as the big men. Hates humanity, hates you. Scotty Pippen. The real thing. Not some cheap cartoon character that maybe on a good day sort of looks like him. There ain't nobody tougher. Slam City is all the action of real one-on-one basketball. You can shoot or drive to the hoop. You can steal the ball or block shots. It's all in there. You got the rock. Now take it to the hole. Now, the in-game video graphics say, earn enough respect and get a shot at Scottie Pippen, not some cartoon lookalike. You control a character in an interactive game. This is real one-on-one. You can make incredible super slams to the hoop that other players just dream of. Filmed in Hollywood with real basketball players. There's nothing virtual about this reality. Get in the game. 100% Udirect interactive video puts you right in the game. You're a part of the action. Created with DigiChrome for the hottest digital images and InstaSwitch, the instant response video technology. So, that's a pretty cool deal to find. It's sealed. The seal's coming off all over the place, but uh, brand new uh, for the Sega CD32X Slam City with Scotty Pippen. So, I was really excited to get that. Now, now we're going to go to the Game Gear games I was able to grab. First one is sealed. It's crunched a little bit, but it's RBI Baseball 94 from Time Warner Interactive. For the first time ever, this baseball mega hit from the Genesis is available for Game Gear. Only Time Warner Interactive could bring this monster Genesis title to Game Gear. With original artwork and animation taken from the Genesis version, you'll experience awesome, realistic baseball action on the go. RBI 94 has over 800 real players from 28 real teams, complete with actual 1993 stats. Use the real 1994 baseball schedule for a full 162-game season, playoffs, and world championships. RBI 94, you won't believe how much real baseball we've put into your game gear. Gear-to-gear cable hookup. The interesting thing, 94, is actually when the strike happened, so you weren't really able to play a full 162, even though the game allowed you to. Next up, this is a sealed copy of MLBPA Baseball. Uh, from EA Sports. 
crush one out of the yard. Never before has a baseball game been created that captures the detail of the sport like MLBPA baseball. Fluid fielding animations such as diving catches and leaping grabs combined with bunts, base stealing, rundowns, and bad hops put you in the big leagues with every player from Alomar to Zeal. Plus, a detailed batter pitcher interface makes this the only game worth playing for the game gear. Use real strategy like the suicide squeeze, big time plays with big time players, hard slides are a part of the game, manage the lineup and batting order. Features, every player in the big leagues, accurate 94 player stats for all 28 teams in the majors, four awesome play modes, exhibition, 162 game season, playoffs or championship. Again, this is MLBPA baseball sealed for the game gear from EA Sports. Next up is a sealed copy from Sega Sports NHL All-Star Hockey. Skates on to Game Gear. NHL All-Star Hockey does, that is. Ready for some hockey, eh? Sega Sports brings you our first hockey game ever for Game Gear. All 26 NHL teams with real NHL players are ready to hit the ice. Burray skates up the left wing, catches a pass on the tape, and pulls the trigger. He scores. In-game graphics show, Urbe with a stick save. Messier brings it up ice against Roenick. Gilmore takes a shot on Hrudy. McGillney moves in on Roy. All 26 NHL teams and real players. Exhibition, playoff, and Stanley Cup action. Individual player ratings in over 10 different categories. Team logos on center ice. Spectacular behind-the-skater view. Again, this is sealed from Sega Sports. It is NHL All-Star Hockey for Game Gear. And the last sealed Game Gear game I got, Game Gear in general. Oh, now everything's falling down. Fuck me. I gotta go pick that up is Disney's Deep Trouble, Deep Duck Trouble, Donald, starring Donald Duck from Jesco Sales Incorporated. While off on a far-flung treasure hunt, Uncle Scrooge picked up a mysterious pendant. Now he's swelling up like a balloon. Can Donald save his ever-expanding uncle? Donald treks to the most dangerous spots on Earth to return the pendant and break the curse. Zigzag through a treacherous forest, a shark-infested sunken galleon, icy caverns, and into the creator of a hot volcano. Tail feathers fly as Donald fights off hyenas, snakes, gorillas, barracudas, sharks, weasels, and thundering lava balls. Again, this is sealed. It is Deep Duck Trouble, starring Donald Duck for the Game Gear. Now, what I'm going to try to attempt to do, let's see if I can grab this one game I think that fell. So let me climb under this table here. Oh, boy. Let's see what the hell's going on. Ah. Yeah. My dog is like, what the hell are you doing? All right. All right. Oh, my knees. Don't get old, folks. They told you when you were younger, don't get old. Well, you're getting old. I'm getting old. All right, let me get all this out of the way. Next up, I got some PS1 games. I'm trying to remember where the hell I bought them. Um, when I look, take a look, I'll figure it out. Let's see what we got. This might be from Amazon, I forget. So, first PS1 game is MIB Men in Black the Series Crashdown from Infogrames. This is interesting. I have the app I've showed you guys before on the iPads for iOS. Um, my iPad's downstairs, but it keeps track of not only what games I have, basically every game for every system, uh, is you can keep track of what you have so you don't like forget what you buy like I do and on top of that it gives you a value for what he believes the game is worth and then it shows you a real-time updates on eBay for what the game is selling for and then what other users have entered what they believe the games are worth this I couldn't even find it's not even in the PS1 library I don't know where the hell it is I bought it for $3.99 but anyway it's based on the cartoon Men in Black series Think you have what it takes to become one of the men in black? Good, let's rock. Play as agents J and K as you attempt to foil the plans of the diabolical Alpha and his relentless army of devious Fmex. That's F-M-E-C-K-S, Fmex. With out-of-control aliens seemingly everywhere, you've got your work cut out for you. Intense first-person action adventure based on the hit animated series. 26 detailed levels of alien anarchy, including New York's Chinatown, a massive spacecraft, and the MIB headquarters. Over 25 futuristic gadgets and out-of-this-world weapons, such as a legendary noisy cricket. 15 unique alien races, each with its own specialized abilities. Again, this is from Infogrames, and it is MIB Men in Black, the series Crashdown for the PS1. 
Next up, and the reason I bought this game, uh, I'm going to see what else I can find. Remember earlier in this video I told you I'm also trying to buy games for movies that I own. Well, way back in the day, when I was a kid, a movie came out animated with dinosaurs, Steven Spielberg movie, it was called The Land Before Time. And I remember that movie to this day. Uh, a couple sequels came out, I think I saw them when I was a kid, and then I just, you know, completely forgot, no interest. I saw commercials here and there over the last five to ten years of other uh, Land Before Time movies that have come out on DVD. But I was at Walmart about a month ago, and I bought all of them. They happened, and the new one happened to be there, and I'm like, okay. And then I saw a, I wasn't going to pick it up, obviously, but then I saw a display, and I'm like, okay. And they had three or four DVDs with basically three or four movies on each DVD to be, basically give me the entire series. So I'm like, all right, I'm definitely going to watch that when I have some time. I, I mean, I'm so inundated with crap. Uh, I haven't even bought, I bought a DVD, DVD series almost a year ago of a TV show that actually came out in, in, uh, in Europe. Uh, in England, and uh, British British Broadcasting Company, it's, it's a show up my alley, it's a science fiction type show. I haven't even watched that, I just don't have any time. But I bought this video game, and I had this before, I ended up selling it, but I bought it again from Universal. Uh, it's Land Before Time, Return to the Great Valley for the PS1. So, Return to the Great Valley and the greatest The Land Before Time adventure ever. When Littlefoot, Sarah, Ducky, and Spike leave the Great Valley to return a missing dinosaur egg, an angry sharp tooth chases them and they scatter in fright. Lost and alone, each of the four friends needs your help to jump, push, tail whip, and headbutt their way through the mysterious lands of the Great Beyond. In a 3D world of dino might action, get ready to solve puzzles and avoid danger as you guide your prehistoric pals on a fun-filled and fantastic journey back to the Great Valley. Explore 20 vivid and fully interactive 3D levels. Build vine or tree bridges over ravines of red lava. Use cannon plants to shoot at obstacles. Float on water geysers or ride a flying dinosaur. Three levels of difficulty for players of all ages. Use Petri's help to find your way home. Now in 3D it says, and again this is from Universal, so for the PS1, The Land Before Time, Return to the Great Valley. The last PS1 game here is Disney's Dinosaur. You know what, I think I got these in Tennessee, now that I think about it. I did get these in Tennessee. These are more of the games I got from Tennessee. Uh, Disney's Dinosaur, Disney Interactive, and Ubisoft, www.ubisoft.com. You are Al Aladar. Extinction is not an option in Disney's Dinosaur. Danger lurks at every corner as you lead the dinosaur herd through scorching lava flows, toxic smoke, and scalding geysers. It's the ultimate trek for survival. Master survival skills of Aladar, Zini, and Flea. Flight Velops Velociraptors, Albertosaurs, Alvaraptors, and Carnotaurs. Featuring scenes taken directly from the film. Interactive Dinosaur Encyclopedia included. This is from Disney Interactive and www.ubisoft.com for the PS1 Dinosaur. Now, do I have a tissue? Because my nose is running. So let me quickly grab one of those. And we'll continue on with this epic video game collection pickup retro pickup video I got. We're about 65% of the way done, folks. I am not done by a long shot. If you've watched the channel, you've know, known that I've said over time, I have a ton of stuff coming in, a ton of stuff coming in. Well, here's everything that's come in over the last God knows how long. First, before I get to the end of uh, the video, before I go into what I'm about to go into, I got a couple of PC games like I talked about. And some of the videos I've done way back, maybe in the last few years, I've talked about a series uh, that came out that I still believe to this day is the best statistical baseball game I have ever played in my life. Um, it set the stage, in my opinion, for how franchise modes work now in, in video games video games for consoles but um this game here is the football version of it and i believe i i got the big box version uh they just sent me the jewel case and i ended up getting a refund and they let me keep this but this is dan marino on the cover it is from sierra sports and it was a series entitled front page sports football pro 98 and uh Really, there's nothing on the back of this. It sucks. But the one game I do want to talk about, and I do have the big box version of this, um, and it is Sierra Sports. Ugh, this thing would just work for me here. Sierra Sports Baseball Pro. Let me see if I can zoom out here and move the camera. Let me put this up like so. This 
Um, C CGW, which is Computer Gaming Weekly, I believe, or Computer Gaming World, whatever it's called, said it is the best overall baseball game on the market. And back when this came out, Randy Johnson again on the cover. Um, let me turn around. Now let's let's look at this. The the if I if I before we go to the back of the box here, let's just look at this. It says Baseball Pro 98 dominates the diamond. Randy Johnson eyes his former teammate as Tino, Mar Tino Martinez steps up to the plate. Dan Wilson gives Johnson the signal for a walk. The big unit shakes his head. He won't make it that easy on Tino. He knows it could be dangerous given Tino's 292 batting average and 117 RBIs. But this isn't about stats or friendship or anything else. It's strictly mano a mano. Pitcher versus batter. Johnson winds up and launches one of his lethal fastballs towards Martinez. Shows you Wade Boggs down there when he was with the Yankees. Individual player artificial intelligence means each player behaves true to life. Instead of canned plays, each major leaguer plays the game with his own personal style. For instance, you won't see Boggs steal bases very often, but look out for his swing. With 2,697 career hits, Boggs has scored 1,367 career runs. And shows you Bobby Bonilla. Interleague play. Start an interleague rivalry when you pit Bobby Bonilla against the pitching terror of the American League, Randy Johnson. Then you got Jay Buhner. Exclusive physics model. No other baseball simulation gives you the true-to-life physics of Baseball Pro 98. In 96, Jay Buhner had 138 RBIs and hit 44 home runs. Send Bone to Lofty Core Stadium and see how this super slugger does at high altitude. And you show Mark McGuire. New, match up any MLBPA batter and pitcher in batting practice mode. In 1996, Mark McGuire led the American League in on-base percentage with 467. Set him up against every pitcher in the majors to see if anyone can stop his powerhouse swing. Then down here you got Barry Bonds. Baseball Pro 98 delivers every MLBPA licensed player with up-to-date stats from Stats Incorporated. In 1996, Barry Bonds had a 308 batting average and led the National League in both baseball and balls with 151 and intentional walks with 30. Roger Clemens. Exclusive. Only Baseball Pro 98 has multi-season career play. You can watch Roger Clemens pitch each game from his rookie days all the way to retirement. And it says here what the pros are saying. Barry Bonds from the San Francisco left fielder says, This game is definitely a keeper. For the first time, I know what it's like to face myself at the plate. Brett Saberhagen of the Boston Red Sox says, Take it from me, baseball pro is the closest thing to the big show. Scott Erickson of the Baltimore Orioles says, It's almost as fun as playing in the real game. Now, PC Games says, At the plate and on the mound, this feels like baseball. Not a simulation of baseball, not an action game with baseball as its theme, but just baseball. Here, some of the graphics show our motion captured player movement ensures that the athletes swing, run, and catch just the way they do on real baseball, on the real ball fields. Our exclusive camera angle management system and VCR feature allow you to view and replay the action from any vantage point in the ballpark. Choose how you tough or easy you want it by adjusting the level of realism for batting, pitching, base running, and fielding. So that's the, uh, oh, and then here it shows. Um, ultra deep updated statistics in 2000 categories provided by Stats Incorporated for every MLBPA player give Baseball 98 total realism. Now, the funny thing about these games, and how did I find out about this game? Well, when I was at a kid, I remember 1996 or 97 when this came out, um, I was 13 years old and I was at after school program. Well, this before this came out, Baseball 96 had come out. And then it was in 94, 95. Well, I was in an after-school program. I was 10 years old or 11 years old. And one of the counselors was talking to me about some computer game he had and how amazing it was. He would always print out the standings and, uh, and, he, would, uh, and he would show them to me. So I got hooked just based on, and as ridiculous as it sounds, I got hooked just on seeing the standings printed out on a piece of paper. Um, I thought it was really cool. And so I bought the game, and I remember playing this game on the computer with a controller, obviously. And uh, I w it was really cool because I was able to actually put a music CD in the computer, let the music from the CD play, so I was hearing the music of the CD, turn the sound off of, of the game, so I didn't really hear that. Um, and then I just would play, and I would listen to Bare Naked Ladies' album, 
entitled Stunt and Smash Mouth's album. Um, I think at the time, I forget what it was called, but All Star, All Star wasn't on it yet. It was the first Smash Mouth album. And, um, and then I also listened to Lou Bega, Mambo Number no. 5, that whole CD. I remember playing this game for hours. I would stay up till, you know, on Friday night when I didn't have school. I'd stay up and it probably play till 2 in the morning from 6 o'clock in the afternoon when I got home. Uh, same thing on Saturday, same thing on Sunday. I would be up forever. This game was just so much fun. And, and, the, and, and I mean, graphically, it wasn't great. It was horrible. Um, you'll take a look at it. Let's see in the back of the box. Okay. Real players, real stats, real world physics. Baseball Pro 98 is your ticket to the big show and the only simulator that really feels like baseball. You may even catch a whiff of newly mown grass and hot dogs. If you're looking for a quick game, our bigger, better arcade mode is just the thing for you. With improved artificial intelligence, convenient game utilities, and interleague play, Baseball Pro 98 brings you baseball at its most realistic and fun. So, new enhanced arcade play. New fast sim lets you play a full season in a third of the time. New, improved artificial intelligence for managers and players. Exclusive, physics-based gameplay. Exclusive, career play lets you see your athletes through rookie season all the way to retirement. Exclusive, camera angle management system, including all new hotkey switching between cameras. Ultra-deep stats in 2,000 categories, 28 major league ballparks, motion-captured player movement. New, customizable difficulty level controls, adjustable realism levels for batting, pitching, base running, and fielding. New, multiple game modes including batting practice, exhibition play, single season play, and remote league play. Short, half, and full season schedules. New, game utility, remote manager, automatically sends and receives league data files daily over the internet. 50-man rosters, 25 on Major League, 15 at AAA or disabled list, and 10 in low minors. And I'll get to that in a moment. Here, exclusive, career play, put your athletes through extensive training, improving their skills season after season. Exclusive, our physics-based gameplay uses the laws of nature, not probability for utmost realism. New, redesigned interface makes it faster and easier to get into the game. An exclusive VCR feature lets you review plays and create highlight films. www.sierrasports.com So this was the big box version of Baseball Pro 98. Now the, the, the interesting thing about the game again, and, and this is really what set me uh, as a young kid playing, because back then when this game came out, there was no other game on the market that allowed you to have a career mode. Triple Play didn't have it yet for from EA Sports. Uh, Sony, MLB The Show didn't have it yet. I don't think it was even called MLB The Show. It was called just MLB. Uh, the first one was Pennant Race for the PS1, and then uh, so on and so forth. Um, you know, it didn't matter. It didn't matter who made games, whether it was, whether it was Virgin, whether it was, uh, uh, as you saw, Grand Slam, uh, whether it was Konami from the XXL series. It didn't matter what game you had, the only game that had a career mode. It was this game, was this series, and it was just, I have so many memories, fond memories playing this game, and just loving life, not having a care in the world, and one of the things I would always do, and what really hooked me was the career statistics, I'm a statistics guy, I'm an analytical guy, I'm a, a numbers person, I love numbers, uh, with addition, multiplication, and division, I really could care less about, you know, equations, and geometry, and all that shit, but this game really set the standard. A lot of people don't remember this game. If you do, please comment in the comment section below. And that led to 3DO making baseball games. And back in the early 2000s, late 90s, early 2000s, to this day, to this day, I still grade Sammy Sosa High Heat Baseball 2000 as the best baseball game. It was either 2000 or 2002. I forget which one it was. For the PC, it was the best baseball game of all time. Of all time. Of all time. And, and I say that based on the... It, it expanded on what Sierra Sports was able to do with career modes, statistical analysis, AAA, double... Oh, and I wanted to talk about this. This game was the first game to actually have AAA and low minors. First game ever baseball-wise, to have not only a major league roster, but you also have people in AAA and AA and single A, which I thought was awesome. And 3DO expanded on that. So they had AAA players, they had AA, they had single A, which was amazing. Um, but the, 
the fun. It took about an hour to play the game, the Sammy Sosa one. Each game took about an hour or less. And it was fun. It was awesome. It was just the most fun I've ever had playing a baseball game in my life. And to this day, I, I talk about it. I'll see if I can get a big box version for the PC. I'll see if I can find one. But to this day, that game is, is either the 2000 version or 2002 version. I forget which. But to this day, it was the best baseball game in the history of life. MLB, the show, has come a little bit close. But to this day, as a kid, from what I remember, and I was a teenager at that point, I still feel that it's the best game I've ever played in my life, baseball-wise. And uh, Sierra Sports, I believe, set the standard uh, for 3DO to, to take and, and, and make better. Um, but again, this, this game, I have so much fun, so many fond memories playing this game as a kid. Listening to Bare Naked Ladies and, and Smash Mouth and Lou Bega and on all that stuff, uh, CDs back then. Um, so, that's the story of that. Final part of the uh, video game pickup video here is the Game Boy games that I have picked up. I've picked up a ton. Um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to go to the Game Boy Advance. I have one of these, and I believe I only have one of these. It is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban from EA Games. Get connected, get connected, says. Uh, only for sub, uh, Game Boy Advance. The Dementors are coming, and this time Harry needs his friends. Face the Dementors, play as Harry, Ron, and Hermione. All new mini games. That's it. For information on this specific product, visit www.harrypotter.ea.com. For more information on Harry Potter, visit www.harrypotter.com. Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban for the Game Boy Advance from EA Games. Next up, I have a couple of Game Boy Color games. The first one is Men in Black, the series. Men in, I'm MIB2, Men in Black, the series from Crave Entertainment. The Men are back. It's only for Game Boy Color, not uh, compatible with other Game Boy systems. And they're ready to kick some extraterrestrial butt as they fry, freeze, and vaporize a new wave of alien criminals into oblivion. Join the force and rid New York of the alien menace. It says gameplay on the Game Boy Color video game system. And you can play as either Agent J or K. Eight new levels with five bosses, environmental elements, six times as many weapons, and new gadgets. Crave Entertainment, www.cravegames.com. Again, for the Game Boy Color, MIB2, Men in Black, the series. Next up, we have Disney and Pixar Bugs Life for the Game Boy Color from THQ and Disney Interactive. Keep on bugging. Join the outcast worker ant Flick and his friends as they set out to save the ant colony from Hopper's ruthless gang of bullying grasshoppers. Flick must climb, jump, crawl, search, and solve puzzles in order to save his colony and gain acceptance by his peers in this grand adventure based on A Bug's Life, the upcoming feature film from Disney and Pixar. This is interesting. This game actually came out before. It's because it says the upcoming feature film. So this game came out before the movie did. Meet your favorite characters from the feature film. Nine huge action-packed levels to explore. Either that or it's a terrible uh, description. An invalid description, I should say. Because here it says, meet your favorite characters from the film. So how could you have met your favorite characters from the film if the film was upcoming? You wouldn't even know who was in the film. So, and again, my analytical brain. Nine huge action-packed levels to explore. Locales from the movie, including Ant Island, Riverbed Canyon, The City, and more. A password system to save your progress. This is a gameplay on the Game Boy and Game Boy Pocket systems. Here, the gameplay on the Game Boy Color video game system. It displays up to 56 colors. Again, Disney, Pixar, Bugs Life. The box is kind of crunched over here, but otherwise it's in decent shape. Next up, uh, this is a pretty cool game. Uh, you know... I would never have bought it had my brain not told me I need to buy Disney, all Disney games. But this is sort of a Disney Tetris game, which is up my alley. It's called Magical Tetris Challenge from Capcom. It's only for the Game Boy Color. Only for compatible with Game Boy Color, not compatible with other Game Boy systems. Join Disney's Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Goofy as they embark on a nonstop adventure full of challenging fun and excitement in Magical Tetris Challenge. Completely addictive, deceptively simple, you'll go wild in a kaleidoscope kaleidoscopic shower of falling Tetris pieces in this magical version of the world's most popular video game. Combines Disney's world-famous Disney's world famous characters with Tetris, the all-time best-selling electronic puzzle game. Three modes of play, quest mode, game collection mode, and two-player mode. Features eight different versions of Tetris. Uncover different storylines featuring your favorite Disney characters. Play head-to-head -head against a friend using the Game Boy Link cable. <laughs> Uh, here it shows you gameplay on the Game Boy Color video game system. Yeah, this is awesome. It's a quest mode, and it's Tetris, and I'm, I'm awesome at Tetris. 
Uh, so this is a game that I would be extremely uh, excited to play at some point. Okay. Now we're going to go... Oh, here's a Game Boy Color game. Let's get into this. Let's, let's grab this here. This is what Disney's Winnie the Pooh Adventures in the 100 Acre Wood. And it's from New Kid Co. and Disney Interactive. It's only for Game Boy Color. Winnie the Pooh Adventures in the 100 Acre Wood. Only for Game Boy Color. Not compatible with other Game Boy system. Ages 4 and up. <clears throat> oh, this is interesting. I'm going to talk about this in a minute. Join Winnie the Pooh and all his friends on a fun-filled action-packed journey through the 100 Acre Wood. Fish with Pooh, bounce with Tigger, hunt for honey, catch acorns, and more. Collect special game cards and pictures as rewards. The more you play, the more adventures you get to choose from, including special bonuses, surprises, and exciting board game challenges. Play as Pooh, Tigger, or other friends. Over 15 adventures and mini-games to choose from. Enormous game environment that expands the more you play. Collect tons of exciting rewards. Here it says gameplay on the Game Boy Color video game system. DisneyInteractive.com, NewKidCo.com. I'm going to go to that website, and here's why. New Kid Company, the, the publisher of this game, 131 Middlesex Turnpike, Burlington, Mass. This game was uh, made in Massachusetts. And this was made, it was copyrighted in 99. So, I mean, we're talking almost 15, 16 years ago. But either way, I'm going to see if the website's still available and, or, or up and running and also see if the company's still uh, valid, which would be really cool if, if that was the case. All right, the rest of these games are for the original Game Boy, so let's get right into it. This is a sealed copy of Tetris Blast. Tetris Returns with a Blast. It is a Super Game Boy game pack from Nintendo. Tetris Blast, puzzle action with a blast. Have a blast. The favorite puzzle sensation explodes back on the Game Boy scene. Test your dexterity at the highest level yet. With rapid moves, align blocks containing explosive bombs and clear away the screen, kablam. In fight mode, build a mega bomb and take out menacing enemies that threaten your progress. You've never experienced Tetris like this before. It's dynamite. Three different modes, new block shapes. Outwit dangerous and evil characters in fight mode. Awesome two-player verse action with Game Link. Compatible with Super Game Boy for incredible sound and color. Password feature. Here it shows you the gameplay on the Game Boy Compact video game system. Here it shows you gameplay on the Super NES using the Super Game Boy adapter, both sold separately. This is a brand new sealed copy of Tetris Blast for the original Game Boy. Next up is Disney's Pocahontas. It's a Super Game Boy game pack from Blue Black Pearl Software and Disney Interactive. And again, this is sealed as well. Disney's Pocahontas, find the path to peace. As Pocahontas, you must use courage and quick thinking to conquer obstacles and help your animal friends. Can you save a fallen bird, free a trapped deer, or help a baby bear get out of a tree? Each time you succeed, you learn a special ability so you can soar, swim, and race through forests, across rivers, and over mountains. But hurry, a war is about to begin, and only you can stop it. Conquer 15 thrilling levels. Explore the Enchanted Glade, the Indian Village, and the Settler's Fort. Play as both Pocahontas and Miku. Miko. Uh, gameplay on the Super NES using the Super Game Boy adapter, both sold separately. Gameplay on the Game Boy Compact video game system. Interesting, so this is the same game that the Genesis version was. Usually they're a little bit different, depending on what system you're on, but this is basically the same thing. Okay. It's a uh, dumbed-down version, however, of it. This is, for the original Game Boy, it is Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi. It is also a Super Game Boy game pack, and it is from Black Pearl Software. All the adventure and excitement of the 16-bit game, are you ready to challenge the dark side? Choose your Rebel Warrior, Luke Skywalker, Leia Organa, Han Solo, Chewbacca, or Wicket the Ewok. Relive the action of the movie as you rescue Han from Jabba the Hutt, destroy the power generator on the forest moon of Endor, challenge Darth Vader and the evil Emperor, and lead the Rebel Assault Fleet in the final battle to destroy the new Death Star. The Force will be with you as you struggle to defeat the Empire once and for all. Gameplay on the Game Boy Compact video game system. Here, gameplay on the Super NES using the Super Game Boy adapter, both sold separately. Uh, so again, Super Star Wars Return of the Jedi for the Game Boy. Next up is, uh, this is in perfect condition, by the way, pretty well. Now it's a little crunched up here. Disney's DuckTales from Capcom. Scrooge McDuck takes a world tour on Game Boy. The world's richest and squawkiest duck hunts a lost fortune around the world and out of it. It's no game for waddlers. There are vines to climb, mines to search, and a haunted castle to conquer. Uncle Scrooge grabs the jewels and tussles with the spookiest, trickiest, spideriest foes to get the big treasures, and there's not much time. 
Five action-packed mazes with secret rooms and tricky pitfalls. Transporters, a helicopter, and a UFO zip Uncle Scrooge around the world. It's for one player only. No ice is nice when there's a fortune to find. Here, can he knock out the snake to grab the uh, Amazon loot? This game pack is for use with the Game Boy Compact Video Game System. Again, DuckTales for the Game Boy. It's in pretty decent condition here. Next up, we have from U.S. Gold. U.S. Gold presents Winter Olympic Games Lillehammer 94. It's the official licensed product of the 1994 Olympic Winter Games. U.S. Gold presents Winter Olympic Games. Play the hottest game on ice and snow. Winter Olympic Games, the official licensed version of the 1994 Lillehammer Olympic Winter Games. Seven events with actual courses used in Lillehammer. Complete the best computer athletes and challenge Olympic game records. 20 countries to represent, including Canada, United States, France, and Japan. Here you got ski jumping. Get ready to really catch some air. Here you have a biathlon. It takes stamina and the eye of a marksman. Moguls. Bang the moguls and do some aerials. And bobsleigh, take those turns fast, but hit them right. So again, from U.S. Gold, uh, they present Winter Olympic Games, Lily Hammer 94, again for the original Game Boy. Next up for the original Game Boy, we have Looney Tunes from Sunsoft. Can you handle seven levels of Looney? What's more fun than watching cartoons? Actually starring in one. Looney Tunes from Sunsoft lets you join the wacky, weird, and wild world only your favorite Looney Tunes characters have seen till now. Each level features a different character starring in its own mini-cartoon, with plots, obstacles, traps, and surprises designed especially for each one. You'll actually become Bugs Bunny, Daffy Duck, the Tasmanian Devil, Roadrunner, and more as you race to save the world against some very familiar enemies, and a few new diabolical menaces you may never forget. You'll have to master each character's special talents across deserts, swim the deepest oceans, fly through the air, and creep your way through a haunted mansion filled with totally gruesome ghosts and goblins. Six amazing levels, six amazing games, plus an awesome bonus round. There's only one way to describe this awesome action, totally loony. This game pack for use with the Game Boy Compact Video Game System. Again, this is Looney Tunes from Sunsoft for the original Game Boy. Let's move this back. Get some room. Next up, we have Disney's Pinocchio from Black Pearl Software and Disney Interactive. It is sealed. On the back here, help Pinocchio become a real boy. Created by Geppetto, the puppet maker, Pinocchio has been brought to life by the magic of the Blue Fairy. Now, join Pinocchio and his friend Jiminy Cricket as they embark on a terrific adventure. Help Pinocchio earn the badges of truth, bravery, and unselfishness, and his wish to become a real boy will finally come true. I can't read this. Meh, uh... Maneuver a rickety roller coaster over dangerous tracks on Pleasure Island. Jump from balloon to balloon in order to escape uh, Lampwick and his friends. Rescue Geppetto from the belly of Monstro the Whale. Brave rough seas in order to bring your friends home to safety. And here, gameplay on the Game Boy Compact video game system. So again, this is Pinocchio. It is sealed for the original Game Boy from Disney Interactive and Black Pearl Software. Next up, we have a sealed copy of Raging Fighter from Konami. Fists and feet collide in a furious battle of brutality. Game Boy has never seen such savage man-to-man -man fighting, such screen-dominating ninja warriors, nor such unique awesome arsenals of physical brute force. Indeed, you'll feel the bone-breaking intensity with every blow. Enter the Omega League of seven raging fighters pitted against each other in colossal one-on-one -on -one clashes to determine the mightiest mortal in the Alpha Universe. Each combatant is master of 20 to 40 attack moves, including two specialized assaults like the Skull Cracker, the Elbow Crash, the Destructo Spin, and the Cannonball Crunch. But remember, each fighter has his Achilles heels. Select a ninja warrior and pulverize your way up each story of Trial Tower. Lose and you'll be an utter disgrace to the League. Train in the practice mode by wailing on computer-controlled opponents who are either purely on the defensive or pumped and primed to attack. One or three round matches, you decide. Optional mode thrusts you into a, into a single elimination battle of brawn to determine supremacy of the entire league. Inflict unforgettable pain on a friend in the versus mode using another Game Boy, a Game Link, and a second Raging Fighter game pack. Choose from four difficulty levels, then let the fights begin. You have nothing to lose but use of your limbs. Featuring simultaneous play for two players with Game Link or play against the computer, this game pack for use with the Game Boy Compact video game system. And again, this is Raging Fighter, sealed for the Game Boy from Konami. Next up, we have Mole Mania. It is one of the, as Game Boy, uh, by the way, it's a Super Game Boy game pack and it's from Nintendo. You'll dig Mole Mania. Uh, towards the end, 
uh, uh, of Game Boy's lifespan, there was these new release stickers that always came on the uh, the games. So this is towards the end of, of its... This is 96 this came out. So don't forget, 96, the Saturn was already out. PlayStation 1 had already been released. Nintendo 64 had already been released. Uh, Game Boy was still, still going strong, thanks in part to Pokemon. Towards the end. Help Muddy solve the puzzles of Jinbei Land. Join Muddy Mole in a race to destroy enemies and obstacles in an attempt to defeat the evil farmer Jinbei. Blast strategic exits using black balls and tunnel your way to the next action pack level. Help Muddy solve the incredible puzzles of Jinbei Land and reunite him with his beloved Mole family. You'll dig the fast-paced and challenging fun of Mole Mania. Get into the Mania above ground and tunnel underground through 175 challenging puzzles. Play alone as Muddy Mole or link up with the Game Link cable for two-player head-to-head fun. Battery back memory saves your progress. Here it shows you gameplay on the Game Boy Compact video game system. Here it shows you gameplay on the Super NES using the Super Game Boy adapter both sold separately. Again, Mole Mania from Nintendo for the original Game Boy. Now, this game I was able to get. This is in mint condition. Uh, it was... I'll, uh, I read... The guys in the 80, I don't know why he didn't have on eBay that he have a, a certain dollar amount that he, he would not sell it for if it didn't hit uh, a reserve. This is pretty much mint. Uh, there's a little peeling of the of the color of the of the thing right up there. I don't even even see that right there. Other than that, this is a mint fucking game. Final Fantasy Legend three from Sunsoft. Mint. I got it for like twenty bucks complete. So this is one of my steals. Um, two meg memory, eighty page player strategy manual and map. All new characters and story. Last in the Legend trilogy. Okay. Final Fantasy Legend 3, an epic battle through time and space. Millennia ago, a fierce battle was waged for control of an idyllic world known as Pure Land. After much fighting, the brave warriors of Pure Land were protectively sealed in their own dimension, away from the rest of the universe. This was done by means of Talon, a powerful spacecraft capable of traveling through both time and space. Centuries have passed, and the world would-be masters of Pure Land have managed to create a rift in the galaxy, sending the Pure Land water entity to devour all that stands in its path. You must journey through past, present, and future to find the 13 pieces of the now-divided Talon. Only then can you save the universe from total destruction. Here, travel through the past, present, and future as you race against time to assemble Talon, the most powerful spacecraft ever created. Equip your warriors with weapons, armor, and magic to do battle with monsters. Select from a menu of options that let you change talents or equipment, weave magic potions, and even save the game. This game pack views with the Game Boy Compact Video Game System, Sunsoft, Final Fantasy Legend 3. For the Game Boy, this is pretty much in mint condition. I'm pumped about that. Next up for the Game Boy from uh, Nintendo, we have Kirby's Star Stacker. Uh, it's a Super Game Boy game pack. Join Kirby as he stacks the falling stars with help from his friends Rick, Kine, and Koo. King Dede is out to stop you. Uh, King D D D D D King D D D is out to stop you. With a few quick moves and some well-timed strategy, you can quickly outwit him and move on to the next challenging level. Kirby's Star Stacker features pure puzzle fun for everyone. From above, blocks rain down constantly. From below, whole lines appear with unrelenting clock-like regularity. Simply sandwich the stars between Kirby's pals, and you'll soon be on your way to the high score. Play the verse mode against a friend using the game link cable. Four different games, round, clear, verse, challenge, and time attack. Battery backed up memory saves your progress. Gameplay on the Game Boy Compact video game system. Gameplay on the Super NES using the Super Game Boy adapter, both sold separately. Again, by Nintendo for the Game Boy Kirby's Star Stacker. Next up, from High Tech Expressions for the Game Boy, we have the Chess Master. The ultimate chess partner with 16 levels of play to instruct beginners and challenge grandmasters. Introducing the Chess Master, the most powerful chess program in the world today, and the friendliest. The Chess Master is the perfect chess companion, adversary, and instructor for any chess player, beginner to expert. Outstanding features include 16 levels from newcomer to grandmaster. Teaching mode shows all possible moves. Code word allows you to stop playing and continue at a later time without resetting the board. Set up pieces in any position to play, analyze, and solve chess problems. Take back replay option allows review of past moves for analysis, all the way back to the beginning of the game, then forward again. Now you can play, practice, or challenge the chess master anywhere you go. Best of all, you'll never lose a piece. This game pack for use with the Game Boy Compact video game system. Uh, so anyway, high-tech expressions, the chess master for Game Boy. 
Next up, this is not sealed. It is Disney's Mulan from THQ and Disney Interactive. It is a Super Game Boy game pack. Disney's Mulan, fearless and feisty. Join Mulan as she attempts to regain the honor of her family name. Disguised as a soldier, Mulan travels to the Imperial Army training camp to prove herself ready for battle. She must then set out to save the Empire by solving puzzles, battling enemies, and ultimately defeating Shan Yu in the final confrontation. Hours of action-packed gameplay, many of your favorite characters from the movie, diverse gameplay including battles, swimming, and shield boarding, a password system to save your progress. Here it shows you gameplay on the Super NES using the Super Game Boy adapter both sold separately. Here it shows you gameplay on the Game Boy Compact video game system. So again, this is Disney's Mulan from THQ and Disney Interactive for the original Game Boy. Oh, man. Next up for the original Game Boy from Konami, we have Bill... Ellison's NASCAR Fast Track. By the way, the app I told you about had this game worth almost $30 to $40. I was shocked. It was rare, supposedly. This will really get your heart racing. Winston Cup champion and game co-designer Bill Elliott is out to throttle you in the only Game Boy game endorsed by NASCAR. Race Bill himself in the cream of NASCAR's crop from an exhilarating behind-the-dash first-person perspective. On your choice of four of the circuit's most hair-raising ovals and hairpin road courses. True to scale and authentic in every detail. Pick your thunder on wheels from three stock supercars. Choose your engine and adjust the tire stagger, spoiler angle, and gear ratio. Battle for the pole position. Then try to outwit Awesome Bill from Dawsonville. In scorching single races or the draining championship season. You'll suffer dizzying spin-outs and blown engines. Luckily, when the onboard warning lights go off, your crack pit crew is ready to repair or modify at your command. Just remember, it's a game of milliseconds. Start your engine and make tracks for the checkered flag. But be warned, the simulation is so real you'll feel it in your thumbs, and the action is so gripping you'll have to white knuckles for weeks. Featuring simultaneous play for two players with Game Link or play against the computer, this game pack for use with Game Boy Compact Video Game System. Again, Bill Elliott's NASCAR Fast Track from Konami for the original Game Boy. Next up, again, this also is in mint condition. Uh, it is from Bandai, Hyper Load Runner for the original Game Boy, The Labyrinth of Doom. Uh, it's not in mint condition, I lied. It looked like it was in mint condition. It's bent. The box here is bent. Earth Day 2264. The renegade Red Lord of Darkness has overthrown the United World Government with his army of cyborg fanatics. Millions of political prisoners are being tortured in his infamous labyrinth of doom far beneath the surface of the planet. Very little is known about this subterranean maze of brick-walled catacombs. Just vague rumors about the hidden millions in stolen gold guarded by a ruthless band of mutant cyborg zombies commanded by the merciless General Zod. Only one thing is sure. None of your predecessors have ever come out of this dreadful place alive. But you must find a way out with a load of gold big enough to launch the counter-revolution. You are the last hope, the last of the great load runners. And again, this game pack for use with the Game Boy Compact Video Game System. Again, Hyper Load Runner, The Labyrinth of Doom for Game Boy from Bandai. Next up from Ultra Games, a subsidiary of Konami, it is Nemesis for the Game Boy. Your dignity won't be all you'll lose if you're beaten by the king. As chief of the Interpl interplanetary police, you thought you put evil King Nemesis behind bars for good. But fresh out of the solar slammer on a technicality, he's just put a billion dollar bounty on your head. And now his heinous horde of henchmen are looking to make some quick cash. But you've got more than a six zapper up your sleeve. You've got the Proteus 911, the most technologically sophisticated flying machine of death ever invented. So strap yourself into this unmarked pressure cooking starfighter. Power up your arsenal with land blasting lasers, mauling missiles, and dual devices of destruction. Then blast the king's five brain draining levels, including the sacrificial sarcophagus of Saturn. And keep wailing away until the king and his fools learn that crime doesn't play. For, huh, crime doesn't pay. It's funny, I can, I can say the words sacrificial sarcophagus of Saturn, but I can't, when I'm saying the, the crime doesn't play, I can't even say pay, I say play. It doesn't make any sense. For one player only, this game pack for use with the Game Boy Compact video game system. Again, Ultra Games, the subsidiary of Konami. It is Nemesis for the Game Boy. Next up, this is Sealed. It is from Romstar. It's called World Bowling for the original Game Boy. It's Sealed. A bowling alley in the palm of your hand. 
With World Bowling, you can compete in a fun-filled competition in the finest bowling alleys of the world. Stops along the tour are Japan, China, the USA, Canada, France, and England. Do you have what it takes to make the qualifying scores to stay on the World Tour? World Bowling is a one- or two-player scratch bowling match. You can select your player and the weight of your ball. With careful positioning, a nice hook, and the right amount of power, you can bowl your way around the world. With World Bowling, you can take the lanes with you. This game pack for use with the Game Boy Compact Video Game System. Again, this is from a ROM star. It is sealed World Bowling for the original Game Boy. Next up, for the original Game Boy from Electro Brain, we have Best of the Best Championship Karate. Concentration of Spirit. One must climb the mountain in order to determine the height of heaven. One must search himself that he might find the way to reach it. The ancient art of karate, you've been obsessed with its magic and power. Since you were a young child, you've dreamed of entering the arenas, matching your skills against the best of the best. Your dream has turned to reality. You've been ranked 16th in the world and ready to enter the International World Championships. Training doesn't stop here. Continue to master your moves, focus on a style, or create your own. Choose between 16 possible moves and program your favorites into your style. You'll meet many tough fighters as obsessed with being the best as you are, and they can't wait to see what you're made of. As your skills sharpen, you'll be invited to fight in the Deadly Kumade, a full-contact, no-holds-barred match requiring much thought and training. The spirit must lead the body. Never forget the essence of the martial spirit. Dedication, obedience, honor, faith, and preservation, perseverance in battle. Welcome to the opportunity to be the best of the best. This game pack for use with the Game Boy Compact video game system. Again, this is from Electro Brain, and it is the best of the best championship karate for the original Game Boy. Next up for the original Game Boy from uh, Minscape, we have Paperboy. Paperboy, one of the hottest arcade games of all time, is more mobile than ever. Hop on your bike for a freewheeling ride up the avenues of not-so-typical suburbia. Avoid motorcycles, tricycles, traffic, runaway tires, gratings, curbs, mad dogs, skateboarders, break dancers, crazed grannies, and other hazards as you attempt to deliver to your customers. Finish your route each day and then go for bonus points on the training course. Break windows, knock over garbage cans, ride through flower beds. All the action, excitement, and challenge of the coin-op game is ready to roll. This game pack for use with the Game Boy Compact video game system. Again, this is Paperboy from Minscape for the original Game Boy. And the last Game Boy game, and the last game of this video, unless I'm forgetting some stuff, which I don't think I am, I think this is it. This game I got, I spent $200 on it. It is very, very, very rare, especially complete in blocks, but it is in great condition. I believe it could be very close to mint, if not mint. Let me take a look at it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with its mint. mint. Yeah, I'd say so. You'll take a look. Uh, very rare for the Game Boy. Uh, complete in box, that is. Ninja Gaiden Shadow from Tecmo. As you can see, this looks pretty damn good here. This itself, go on the bottom. The sides. And then we'll go on the back. Ninja Gaiden Shadow. Now for your Game Boy. Fight with the all-new Ninja Gaiden Shadow through his awesome new adventure. Collect the secret ninja power-ups to gain energy and ninja life force. Use the new ninja ninchak ninchaku rope and the art of the fire wheel to defeat your enemies. Use your proven ninja skills and techniques to fight your way through the many challenging new levels and bosses. Features single-player action, superior graphics, special power-ups, hidden ninja life force, new ninja skills, and challenging new bosses. Um, again, this is from Tecmo. This is the rarest, not the rarest, it's one of the rarest games I own uh, for the Game Boy, uh, uh, let alone anything else. Ninja Gaiden Shadow, I spent $200, I picked that up. So that's it, folks. That is the ultimate game uh, pickup. I think this is the longest one I've ever done. I could be wrong. If it's up there. Um, I don't think I have anything else. I think everything else is, uh, is spoken for. I know that I have a game on order for the Game Boy Color uh, that still hasn't come in. I haven't paid for it yet, technically. Um, but this is one of those things where I think this is it. Yep, this looks like it. So, thanks for watching uh, this epic video game pickup video. It was epic. It was big. There was a ton of shit to go over. Um, and again, stay tuned for next week's Scratch Ticket Thursday. But thanks for watching, uh, and at some point, I got some exciting news that I'll be sharing with all of you guys in a couple of weeks. 
but I'll have basically the long short of it is I'll have a lot more time on my hands. So <clears throat> again, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, comment. Remember, 2,000 subscribers by mid-May, I think I or by scratch ticket video number 50, uh, we will buy a $30 book of tickets. So again, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time, guys.